Well, welcome back. In this session, we're going to work with geoprocessing tools to analyze points in terms of basic distance functions. So what we'll do is we'll first create a test layer of lines and points using the Create Fishnet tool. So I'll output to a test geodatabase. So if I go to C, enter M435, I'll make a new file, geodatabase, and let's just call this test. And inside that geodatabase container, our lines will be called lines. And we'll create our fishnet starting at 0, 0, and going up straight north, so 0, 1, cell width 1, cell height 1. And let's make two rows and two columns. And then if we scroll down, what that will do is actually create points called label points and create lines and then just OK to execute this geoprocessing tool. OK, so if we look in our table of contents, we've got a layer of points and a layer of lines. So let's uncheck our lines layer for now. We've got four points, and if we look at them, we've got an object ID going from one to four. So here's point one, here's point four. So let's add the XY coordinates of these points. So if I click on this point, it's 0.5 and 0.5. If I go to this point, it's 1.5 and 1.5. So there's a geoprocessing tool called add XY. So add space XY. So that's going to add the XY coordinates to our point attribute table. So then if we look at our table, we've got the actual XY coordinate of each point. Okay, so one tool involving distances is the buffer tool, which allows us to ask questions about a threshold distance. So for example, where is the area within a distance of point 0.1 of any point? So we'll run the buffer tool. And our input will be our points. And the distance will just arbitrarily use 0.1. And then just OK to execute that pool. So what that did was it created four buffer polygons. And in each of the polygon, it has all the original information about the points. So this polygon it inherited all the information from this point. So now if I'm in any of these polygons, I'm within a distance of 0.1 to one of these points. Now we could say let's create a multi-part polygon representing if we're in any part of the polygon, we're within a distance of 0.1. So to do that, if we go to results, what we would do is everything is previous except we'd say dissolve all. And that's going to create one multi-part polygon. So it looks the same, but if we look at the table, we've got one multi-part polygon. If we're anywhere in this polygon, it means we're within a distance of 0.1 to one of our original points. And the area of all four parts is summed to 0.125. Then let me remove that. Okay, so sometimes we have questions not about fixed distances, but about specific distances. So we've got our lines. Let's do a definition query to grab one line. So we'll do a definition query. Object ID is equal to 1. And we'll name this uh, line. Okay, so for each point, we want to know what's the distance to the closest line. So we can run several tools to answer that question. One tool would be the near tool. So the input is our points. And the near feature, if we click on show help, the near feature is one or more feature layers containing points, lines, or polygons. So in this case, it's just going to be one layer, and the layer is 
our line layer. So for each point, go out, find the closest line, and return that distance. And then we could also ask, return the location of that closest distance, and return the angle of that closest distance, and then just OK. So that will return all that information to our points table. So if we look at our points table, here's our first point, and the distance from this first point to the closest line is 0.5, and that location is at 0 0.50. So that would be go straight down, x is 0 0.5, and y is 0. And then the angle is a negative 90, which is the angle straight down in ArcGIS. So the near tool always returns all the information to the original lines. We might also want to know, for each point, give us the distance to more than one point line or polygon. So to do that, we could use a tool called the Generate Near Table tool. So let's clear our definition query. So we'll have more than one line. So clear. And we'll name this lines. So now for every point, go out and find the three closest lines. So let me clear my selection. And then generate near table. So generate near table. So our input, once again, is our points. And our near features could be points, lines, or polygons. In this case, it'll be the lines. And then we'll output that to our geodatabase. And this will be a table of nearest line distances. So then find not the closest line, but find the three closest line. And then just OK. So that will create a table. And if we open up our table, here is for, I'll make my object ID invisible. So here's the three closest lines for the input feature ID 1, which will be point number 1. So the closest one is line number 2, and that's a distance of 0.5. The next closest one, it's actually a tie, line 5, and that's a distance of 0.5. And then the next closest one is line 1, and that's a distance of 0.5. To look at this, let's label our lines, and it'll make a little bit more sense. So if we go to our lines and labels, We'll label our lines based on their object ID. So here's our first point. And then we could look at our table. So here is line 2, which is a distance of 0.5 away from this point. Here's line 5, which is a distance of 0.5 from this point. And here's line 1, and it's a distance of 0.5 from that point. So that's the handy part about generate near table. We can ask questions, give us the three closest, give us the two closest, etc. Okay, the other tool we can use for distances is spatial join, which transfers all the information about the lines to a new point layer. So spatial join, our target is our points. And we're asking to join all the information about our lines to our points. And then we could pick and choose what we want in the output. So let's not join from the near tool output any of that information. So then what we would do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, and our match option will be closest. So closest, and then we would give it a field. So we could name this field whatever we want. So we could call it distance to line. 
So for every point, go and find the closest line, return that in this field called distance to line, and then just OK. So that creates a new feature class in our geo database. And if we look at the attributes, we've got the join count saying whether or not they found a line and then what the distance is and then all the information about that line. So the line feature ID one, two, and three, and then the point information is still in that table. Okay, so in summary, we have four geoprocessing tools we can use for asking questions about distances. The buffer tool we can use asking questions about a fixed distance. So for example, show me the area within a mile of towns. And then we have three tools that can give us specific distances. The near tool returns the distance to the closest point line or polygons and it returns that distance to the original points. The spatial join tool outputs to new points and transfers the information about the closest line, point, or polygon to these new points. And then the generate near table outputs a new table and it can give us more than one distance. So for example, give us the top three closest distances to the nearest polygons, something like that. Okay, so that's enough for this session. In the next session, we'll talk about how to solve last year's quiz